Welcome back. I'll be showing you guys the best ways to get yourself the back to the gridiron iconic. So let me get straight into it. Head into play now so you can see the milestones, the trade objectives and journey. Don't focus on the store. This is a free to play guide on how you guys can go ahead and get iconics. Now you have the free section and there is 50 of them you're going to want to claim obviously you're going to want to claim all these rewards the extra eight are just bonus coin ones at the end this is pretty long here we gotta just keep swiping there we go yeah right there at 50 the extra coin ones you really i mean it's just an extra five thousand coins eight times it stops directly at 50 i mean the iconic player select is pretty good you got cash you got the mouthpiece for that 119 free richard sherman so that is nice. I'm pretty sure the other two collectibles for him will be in the other two promos in the month of the fuel pass. But you do get an epic select. So you get an epic right there. Plus you should have gotten two other epics. Now you could boost if your overall is not as high as like 2,800 and whatever this was. I think it was 2,850 something. You're going to epic select out of that if you have a 2,800 plus overall and then if you go ahead and actually play throughout obviously the journey and then you know i mean you don't get that much good stuff from the beginning of this but still you're gonna have to grind your daily goals make sure you do all of your daily goals because you get you know field pass points and then you're back to the ground daily goals make sure you do all those too just play through the game play the promo spend your event stamina play the core spend your regular stamina play your league play your competitive whatever back to this over time you'll get better rewards there's an epic towards the end obviously as you see there's these little packs now to get them right away i mean you get one epic in the journey either if your overall hits that or if you boost and then you can get another one if you do this every day now you're probably going to say i don't have enough to even do these every single day because i don't have enough on commons or rares or epics now how do you obtain this you're going to need coins obviously to go ahead and buy packs to get these players which are the uncommons and rares and epics so what you can do is grind man and base or grind the regular journey get coins but if you know you can't do the journey then you can't get coins out of there but you can always grind man and base which is good and then you can go ahead and get some packs which you're probably going to aim at pro packs or all pro packs i think all pro packs are better because you have a better chance to get you know rares plus it's two per that pack and if you can watch ads watch the all pro pack ad and the pro pack ad that's just a free pro pack and all pro pack which is fantastic now that's really the only way you get players i mean if you go into the core you can go mad and base and then do the player ones which is pretty good so let me just auto one to just show you it should just give you an uncommon and then the more you go down the line you should get you know a better chance at it see how it's like blue a little bit because that's rare or uncommon more of a chance to pull an uncommon but you know i have a chance to pull rares rares let me click this yeah look at that last one you see you have the uh, rares in there it is a 47 percent chance that's not Eh, it's not that bad the last one's pretty good what percent of a chance was this 17 percent. i mean it's not terrible did this even have a percent of a chance oh it has a three percent you can pull rares out of all of them i mean that's not bad you can do the coin mining base and the regular one just to obtain either players or coins to go ahead and then take it over to the trades and objectives to do this remember you can do this only uh two times a day for your back to the ground upgrade packs two times a day for the uh plus pack and then for 5x of the plus packs it's only one time a day and this is six rares and one epic i mean hopefully you've been saving up that's uh you know plus to all this if you've saved it will help you a ton because these events reset every day at 10 30 a.m eastern so if you saved up that's good if you haven't go ahead and grind that way that i just showed you to go ahead and maintain players to get the field pass players so you can get your hands on field pass on commons and rares plus the plus pack just got updated from the last time 
I was looking at this in the morning. They did not have chances at epics. Now they do have chances at epics, which is fantastic. So you have a chance to pull epics even out of the plus packs. If you're grinding, you have a chance to pull epics. Plus, you'll get uncommons and rares, which you can take and put them in for, well, uncommons for rares and then rares for obviously the epics. I do randoms, but then again, if you want a specific player, you know, we do not have a random iconic trait we only have select ones this time so you can't put five you know epics into a iconic so you probably would be better off doing the select epics but then again test your luck with maybe one or two randoms just to test it out because i don't know it's it's better though off the start i want to just do randoms and then hope for the best because i mean I know this takes seven rares for a select, but there is no random iconic. There is only select iconics you can do, which is a bummer, but it is what it is to be fair. I don't know why they have the random here. It, like it's, it's not really beneficial. I mean, you could do the random, as I said, maybe once or twice off the beginning just to test your luck. But then from there on out, I wouldn't do it anymore. I would just do the select to then go ahead and select uh, whoever you want. I don't know who you guys want. But yeah, now, you know, you do that way. You should get an epic or maybe two, depending on your grind, however that works. I mean, because in the morning, these plus packs, you can only pull up to a rare. Like it kind of is a kick because I bet everyone did these already. And if you didn't, I advise you to do them now because you can now pull epics in the plus pack. So go ahead and test your luck. And if you don't have enough, do what I just showed you guys to do to go ahead and get players to trade them in for those packs and yeah honestly you should on day one be able to get two to three epics which is a great start to your grind to get your iconics i mean it also depends on your overall i got one out of the select at 2800 overall if your overall is higher you can definitely get you know some better stuff obviously through you know this fuel pass journey you'll get players manning cash the packs and stuff which is fantastic they give you regular packs too which you can trade in for the newer packs you know the regular pack or plus packs whatever and also if your overall is high you can get the eddie jackson which is fantastic i mean you have to be at 3234 overall so yeah but yeah that's that's basically it you will Bet yourself towards the end of the field pass to get more rewards and obviously claim the players. It's a slow start for the beginning because you have to grind daily goals to move up the rewards. And now that they limit packs, you have to actually play every day to obtain the players. So you can't really get iconic straight away anymore, but you can definitely on day one get a head start, get about two to three epics and yeah hopefully pull epics now out of plus packs and they, they finally added that so that's fantastic but that's it for how to get your back to the ground iconics the best way throughout the game so there you have it hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you in the next one peace